Hello guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. My name is Andrei. Uh, my last video was about Hugging Face datasets library and I was explaining how you can uh, get data from the outside and uh, transfer, transform it to be available as a Hugging Face dataset. So today we'll take a one step uh, further and to look how to we could use um, a Hanging Face Trainer class, uh, uh, which works uh, out of the box with uh, Hanging Face Datasets uh, API, and how we can use this uh, trainer to fine tune uh, Hanging Face model. We'll be working with a Layout LM V2 model, which uh, uh, helps to extract uh, data from. Uh, from the documents, like from the receipts, invoices, or any other kind of documents. And uh, I'll show uh, how uh, quickly you could fine-tune uh, Hanging Face uh, model using a Hanging Face Trainer class, which uh, works on top of Hanging Face datasets. And because it's all, uh, all the API is uh, standard and uh, it's very well defined, uh, fine-tuning job uh, becomes uh, quite simple. And you could uh, probably what is the best value is that you can apply the same uh, knowledge uh, to, to fine tune any other model of um, from the hugging phase. So if you know how, if you learn how to uh, fine tune one model, you can do uh, the same thing for any other model. So this is um, uh, great and uh, it allows to use uh, the knowledge. So okay, let's see how it run how it runs. So I have a notebook uh, which is also. Uh, available on a GitHub uh, repo below the video. And what uh, this note notebook does, uh, it's using um, a data set that I prepared in my previous video and explained how you could do that. And based on that uh, data set, which uh, data set uh, com uh, comes with uh, court, uh, data set is called court and it comes with received uh, data. It's a public data set available online and uh, I uh, refer to the authors of this uh, data set. And I'm using this data set to basically fine tune the model and to test how uh, fine tuned layout LM V2 model would be able to extract data from the, from the receipts. Yeah, so basically to summarize what we are doing here, we are using a, a court dataset, which is translated to be a hanging face uh, uh, dataset. And on top of the, this dataset, we are fine tuning a layout LM v2 model, which is uh, hosted on hugging face. And we are fine tuning this model uh, with a hugging face trainer class. We are getting back the model and we are pushing this model to the hugging face um, models uh, library so that uh, this model would be available to anyone who would uh, like to reuse it and there would be no need to train it, uh, to train and fine tune it for you so you can use it just out of the box okay so first step is to install transformers uh, it's uh, obvious then we install uh, hugging face datasets then in the next step we install uh, pytorch and uh, detectron uh, library Okay, what goes next is uh, we authenticate with Hugging Face um, uh, infrastructure. This is required because at the end, when uh, we will get fine-tuned model, we would like to push it to Hugging Face models library so that uh, a model would be available to you for you uh, for your for your usage, right? Or for my own usage, if I would like to uh, run inference task on uh, another environment, for example. Then we install uh, git LFS in order to be able to push the model. Okay, and here uh, actual job starts. So in the first step, we need to get the data set, uh, which we'll be using to fine tune the model. So we import uh, load data set uh, function from data sets and we call it by uh, referring to our uh, data set that we prepared in the, in the previous tutorial. So you could check my previous tutorial to learn more how to do that. Then we're printing out the structure of the data set. Then we're printing out the uh, features. Uh, and then we display the labels that, and these labels were uh, original labels coming from the core data set and uh, uh, ML model is fine tuned in order to uh, be able to map between uh, elements in document on those label. So if uh, there'll be like a total value, then model should learn that this is this number is actual total. And maybe another one, there'll be subtotal. So model should learn that this is subtotal and so on. Okay. And in the next step, we are basically consuming um, uh, our data set and we are 
uh, processing the data and uh, we are constructing um, uh, data sets for training and for testing. So this is what we are doing here. And then th this data sets then can be used by the Hang Face Trainer class. And th th this is this very, very important thing and we are, we are able to achieve um, this transformation in this simple way because we are uh, fetching data from Hugging Face datasets uh, object and uh, it's out of the box uh, very friendly with any other Hugging Face API and it's very convenient to, this is, uh, this is why I told that it's convenient to use Hugging Face datasets since it actually simplifies our job uh, uh, onwards when we are when we want to fine tune the model. Okay, then we are printing out uh, information about train data set, then printing out some uh, sample data to make sure that uh, train data set object is valid and there is correct data inside, and so on. And then this is the main uh, thing related to the model fine tuning. We define uh, we we. we we actually uh, specify which model we would like to fine tune, uh, layout along v2. Then we uh, store uh, mappings between IDs and labels in the model so that later when we will do inference, there would be no need uh, for us to create a uh, label ID mapping again. We would uh, retrieve it from the model which was uh, fine tuned. Then we define uh, fine tuning metrics, uh, all the other stuff, and we do we, we provide configuration here. We provide configuration for output directory for the number of uh, fine tuning steps. Uh, we, I have 3000, so it means uh, 3000 uh, iterations will be used to fine tune the model. And then, uh, yeah, and all those parameters are taken from the documentation or from uh, other samples, uh, other fine tuning examples from the hugging phase, right? And uh, all the parameters are very well defined in documentation and if you would like to play with different parameters you can go to the documentation, check uh, the, the, the options and, and use them and do your experiments. And we have push to, uh, push to hub, this means when model will be fine-tuned we will push uh, the result to the hub uh, to be reusable uh, for anyone. Okay, so model uh, fine-tuning structure is defined and then the next step we call train and it's very uh, the train train process uh, runs nicely uh, it uh, prints out uh, information about the loss each uh, 500 steps and uh, in this specific example we see that loss is decreasing approaching zero this means uh, uh, model fine tuning is working fine model is able to understand uh, mappings between uh, input data and labels and I'm using, um, to train this model, I'm using uh, Colab GPU and uh, I think uh, those 3000 uh, steps were done with this data in around 15 minutes. Okay, at the end when model is fine-tuned, we are using a test data set and we are printing out results uh, from this test data set like uh, precision, uh, accuracy and so on. So we see that um, uh, precision is uh, uh, is quite close to one. This means um, uh, model uh, fine tuning was uh, executed uh, quite well, and uh, uh, our fine tuned model can be used to work with the data that we are targeting uh, with fine tuning. And then we are calling push to hub. This means um, uh, when model is fine tuned, we want to save it, and we just uh, with this single line model is uh, uh, uploaded to the hanging face um, infrastructure and is available online to anyone. Yeah, so th that's about fine tuning, and uh, then I could go to uh, Hanging Face website, and and uh, uh, under my username I can see that this uh, new model was uh, created, and this is a readme file, uh, which is default, and I should uh, take some time to update uh, this model. But I was not updating it now because maybe I'll uh, do more fine tuning, and um, I don't want to uh, lose. Uh, the description I'll update it later when uh, I'll make sure that model is. Uh, I'll not fine tune the model again and again, All right? So yeah, if you look into the files and the versions, we see uh, because we are, I was using uh, PyTorch uh, to uh, fine tune the model. Uh, this is a fine uh, PyTorch uh, model bin. This is the uh, main model implementation uh, file. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, yeah how it works, and um, hopefully it will be useful when you fine tune your own models. And the beauty of all of that is uh, uh, Hugging Face Trainer class. Uh, you don't need to um, uh, experiment with complex API, you just uh, 
take the hacking face trainer class you provide some parameters you provide uh, input data and it works and it works especially well when you have um, input data in hugging face uh, data set format because then you can uh, easily transform data and you can feed data directly to a trainer class without much uh, uh, of the uh, extra processing and uh, uh, just uh, playing with data and so on. You just uh, It works out of the box directly. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.